Tony Hawkins has got a podcast. I hope he's better at this than he is washing the kit because he was fucking useless. Right, episode 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Well, if you thought 12 we. 12 shots uh, on goal, Tony, that's how many we've had if, this year. If you thought that we were slightly less than enthusiastic the last it week. Didn't wait to hear this week. <laughs> before we go any further. Before we go any further. I suspect this is going to be an 18 certificate podcast. Could well be. And, and, and also lot, 18 minutes long. Yeah, a lot of swearing <laughs> this week, I tell you there is. Uh, so there we were. There we were, Tony, sitting there, quite the thing. Oh, this will be easy, we said. All full of optimism yeah, and... Bobby Snear, we said. They're there for the taking, probably, even though we know nothing about them. Nothing. But Bobby we, we, we are, should be, will be, Beating and be teams better like than them. Easy. Yep, yep, and uh, we lost three. Nigel Clough as well. Yeah, that just makes it a lot more worse. More irritating for, you, for me, that, as I've got to be honest. On the plus side, did you see uh, a programme at all? What programme? The centre page of the no, Saturday's programme. Program, no. Great photo oh, you of the it? Liverpool game. Were you in it? No, uh, well, actually, probably. Well, oh, no, actually, you wouldn't have been able to see me because I was obviously in a box. No. With the, uh, not near anywhere near the pool. That's people. dead to me, that game, now, I've got to be honest. Well, so, well I might as well go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Tony, and I've written, you can see this page of notes. Look, that's a lot of notes. I'll be blunt with you. I genuinely, honestly, and I'm not just saying this to, you know, elicit some response from idiots on the internet that is as poor as I've ever seen us play in all the years I've been flat watching it it was appalling it really was Just I um, I, I can't I can't I was, as I often do lying in bed the night before this recording all excited, this podcast like Christmas. well no that was no, oh for that, here oh, yeah. oh right okay. no I was actually for some reason I was really excited on Friday about getting up on yeah, Saturday when I got up on that Saturday was really I was like yes! me. football yeah, great and um, last, last night I was lying there and I was trying to think of anything positive that we did in that game that was memorable. There was nothing. There was nothing. I have actually written that Southend are no longer the poorest team that I've seen this season. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, honestly think it's us. Uh, well, formation-wise, again, it looked all right. Really? Did you think? Well, with what we had... To, to, well, you know I mean? I've written down. Have you got Sam Nombe on your list? Well, I've just written injuries. Yeah. And we've always been prone to injuries. We, we have. have been, but nothing like this. Nothing. This is not this, this early. It's only. No. It's only. It's not even mid October. Well, it's first week in October. I mean, yeah. it was the beginning of October last weekend. So, so what are we talking? Eight, nine weeks in to the season. Yeah, nine. We've got who's out? Nine Healy's or ten. Out. Healy's out. Yeah. Well, let's start from the front and work backwards. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Healy. Healy's gone. Nombe. Nombe, he's gone. Egard. Egard, two weeks, I think, something like that. Midfield, Alex Gilby coming back. But he's. But he wasn't yeah, very good on no. Saturday, I have to say, and I like Alex. Reevesy. Uh, Reevesy, no one seems to know what's happening. Is he even here? Quite honest with you. Yeah. George is up. George Williams. Yeah. Yes, George Williams. Um, GMT. In and out. Yeah. So yeah, it's looking a bit threadbare. Mm-hmm. Sam Nombe one's particularly disappointing. Yeah, that's worrying. Six um, months, that's a long... Although, the, the I mean, I'm yeah. sorry I was finding it difficult to get positives from Saturday, but I think David Kasumu played, has pl- played the best he has all season and he's coming on every single game. He's panicking less, he's giving the ball away well. less. He's looking a little bit more... I like the way he collects the ball with his sort of back to the touch line stop you hear that sound what's that that is the sound of a bottom of a barrel being scraped <laughs> by you Tony because there was nothing good about that game no, there wasn't there wasn't uh, Tony it oh was... actually no there was something good oh what and I was the only person it fucking finished I was the only person within like 200 yards that applauded it but their second goal I actually well, I, I've think, written I here. actually applauded it I have written here <laughs> The amount of time that their boy had to set up for that second yeah. goal was an he moved, utter He moved disgrace. from the uh, corner of the 18-yard box over a bit, over a bit, over a bit, bosh. He could have quite literally sat down on that ball and then got back up and then did what he did. The, the amount of space 
they gave that guy for that second goal was embarrassing. It really was. Yeah. I mean, it was a good goal. Don't get me wrong, but you can't. He was give given the opportunity to, to, to time have a go. like that to set up. It was ridiculous. That. I mean. So there. That. <sighs> if anything, that was the highlight of the day for me. What about Nichols fluff near the the thing when he dropped the ball and near nearly, nearly scored? That was quite funny. Yeah, that was. That was a good funny, bit. Yeah. Again, probably not. That was a one of the better bits. I wouldn't put that in the Remember? highlights column, but. God, it's just so difficult to talk at the moment about us because there isn't anything positive. I know how the Sunderland feel, fans feel now. The who, sorry? Sunderland. Yeah. When they were saying about, I oh, can Tony, see where that comes from. You're not saying we should from. sack our manager, are you? Because no, well, if you were, Tony, I'm you wouldn't not, be the only one. I'm not saying I'm not saying we should sack our manager in October. The only time I did say that was Robbie <laughs> Nielsen. Robbie <laughs> Nielsen. Uh, when we drew four all with Oldham oh, in October, oh, he could have. You know, things would have been so much different if we'd have lost that game. If we'd have lost that game, I genuinely think he would have gone. He would have gone, or he would gone. have been on his absolute you know what he should do, Tony? last warning. He should get a petition up to get Tisdale sacked. I don't think he needs to be sacked. Why? I just think we need to have. I don't know. There's something missing in our game. We were told. I don't know what it is, and it was. Our mate Cam tonight did point it out on the internet. Yeah. But before he signed, when it was obviously was going to sign but didn't, just in that transition period where Exeter served him his notice and yeah. before he came to us, Cam tonight has picked up that Exeter fans were saying that what's happening at the minute is ex- they predicted this exactly this was going to happen. But then so did the Hearts fans with uh, Nielsen. Yeah. The Hearts fans got it absolutely spot on said if you want to see your centre forward scoring goals forget about it if you want to see your left back in the other your, in your opponent's half forget about it if you want to see drab nil nils or one nils or, mm. or I'd whatever I'd take that now to be quite honest I would yeah they did say that we will go through four, five, six games playing appallingly and not winning no idea what the setup is where anyone's supposed to be and then suddenly for the next four or five games he'll turn that around well Blackpool I mean Blackpool yeah, that Black should have been a springboard shouldn't it really it should have been and then this has just been I'll be blunt me it's just that was shit on Saturday you yeah. can't defend that do you know what I'm I don't think I'm going to go to Bristol on Saturday. I don't blame you. I don't I, see the honestly, point. Honestly, this is the first what time. What is the point of that? I mean, since obviously the Nielsen with, uh, I said after Northampton, the day he got sacked after the that's game. That's what he said. I said that's it. I'm not going to any more away games. Not Tony. And then he got sacked. So I, think I was fine then after that. Well, sort of <laughs> after mm-hmm. what happened there. But I can't. I very. I don't. I don't, I don't want to travel that far no, it's, just to be disappointed. No. And also, I have to say it, and again, very unusual for me, I feel let down as well. I feel it was a... If, I mean, I, I can't... I don't really know what to say about that. It genuinely was... I mean, I'm struggling to think when we played worse than that ever in all the years it, I've been it was, there it was, a, it was a total non-performance and you By can't everyone. pick anything out you can't you just I, I really really I'm, other than David who I thought was good but only because there in the context of shit. him yeah. he's young he's improving every game but when I heard Sam Nombe was out and I was thinking we're fucked well, basically well that leaves us with Bowery <laughs> oh mate see him I must have written something about him. Oh yeah, he had one on one with the keeper, didn't he? Yeah. And he shoots it right at the guy. Yeah. I mean, what can you see? And he that? had he had a fair bit of time. He as did well. well. As someone who applies his trade as a centre forward, he's got to be not shooting it right at the goalkeeper. Right, yeah. to be quite honest. With I mean, you. I, I'm, again, I'm trying to think of where if we had any width, but again, I don't think we had any width. We, everything seemed to go through the middle. Yeah, we, had we we weren't even keeping the vault very no. well. I mean, I can't. I, don't, I haven't seen the possession stats or the shots and where. See, to be quite honest with you, I think three nil, you know, flatters us. To be quite honest, because well, I don't. I don't think the score was particularly relevant. It was just no, that just we were going to lose nothing, that yeah. game. 
if we were, can you imagine if we played like that against someone like Peterborough? They would have they been double figures. They just well, we did. <laughs> yeah, but not, I mean, not as bad as that, weren't we? We weren't as bad as that when we played Peterborough. No, we, we weren't. weren't bad, we weren't. but we weren't like that. It was, it, it was just, I can't, I can't bring myself to, you know, it's, I, usually I have to talk myself out of going to a game. Now yeah, I've got to talk myself into going to go into a game. It's not a good thing. That. And the thing is, I've got, I've got a pos, I've got a something else that I can possibly do. Is it which weirdly, same? which weirdly, would, is it football related? Which would weirdly put me an hour into the journey to Bristol. Oh, you might as well just go for an hour. It's only a couple of hours away, isn't it? Well, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to Oxford on Saturday morning. But see, Robbo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking after his uh, under 18s oh, at oh, playing in the morning. Yeah. Oh, good on. Yeah, so I'm going to be finished in Oxford at midday, and I'm thinking I can yeah, I, I could drive go. from there. But I mean, it's only an hour, well, hour and a half. Isn't it? But do I really want to lose petrol? It's just oh. I'm deaf. I mean, I wouldn't go anyway. I'm definitely not going now. But this, but again, in the back of my head, I'm thinking this could be the this could be the one. This could be the nah. you know. See that shit. Into... You've got to get that out of your head. I've I have successfully got that shit out of my head. Like, see, normally I'm I am quite you know, a pessimist. You're talking about two or three years ago when I eventually just thought you know what fuck this I ain't doing this every week you see I can't do that yeah. I, I, I won't do that for home games I'll go to oh, no, I'll, I'll still go, go to every single home game and I'll but... go to Oxford and I went to yeah, uh, I, I want to if... be there to support the lads although but... I don't sing or shout or anything like that but I want to be there supporting your mate Tony yeah exactly and I I mean I'm absolutely fucking useless as a fan to be fair I don't like sitting with other people no I don't like I sit on my own I don't like I don't that. I will move if, if, yeah, if I will, someone yeah. around me is Even annoying me which is next to me pretty much me. every game <laughs> <laughs> yeah so alright so as f from being a fan I'm not the most vocal uh, but at the same time it's another number on the uh, attendance have you been before Bristol City yeah. Rovers yes I have don't yeah. know them I've been two or three times yeah, I've been. Um, I've only I went been on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day once. It was like a twelve o'clock kickoff as well. It was a bloody disgrace. Yeah, went by coach trying to get. Can't remember. There. Um, Ridiculous. It must have been. I've driven two or three. It must times. have been Nielsen's season. I went with Martin Allen as manager been once, and Martin Allen had to take his shirt off because he was wearing. That's the. Is know. that the season where they won the playoffs? I can't remember. No, I don't think so. I or was went that the once, season before? I definitely went when Martin Allen was manager, definitely. And he had to take his like, jumper off because he had like a black top on. And they, yeah. uh, he had the same colour. Oh, sort of, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, pathetic. Yeah. And then I went at Christmas. It was either New Year's Eve or it was New Year's Day. And it was a, it was an early kick-off. And I've, I think I've been twice, maybe three times. I've not gone again. I'm just not. I'm, I'm definitely not going to see that because to be quite honest with you, that's just <clears> shit. I'll tell you how bad Saturday was. Go on. My mum didn't come out for the second half. Really? I had to sit on my own. That's poor, isn't it? I seen you. I was yeah. Actually, you. I wasn't sitting on my own, but I had to, she wasn't there. And she's, I said, are you not coming out for the second half then? She said, no. You know what my lad said? She didn't even go home. People. She just went into the laundry room. <laughs> when there was a mass exodus, right, which there was, I looked at the time on the old clock and it was 83 minutes, right? I think I probably what time what, what time did they score the last? Well, was it ninety plus? Just quite near eighty three minutes because people were leaving then, weren't well, they? Well, I missed the third. I didn't even know it was three now until I got home. Yeah, it was a massive exodus, and like I said to my lad, I said, oh, "This is shit." And he goes, "No, I'm staying." And I goes, "Oh, come on!" He goes, "No, I'm staying. I'm I'm definitely booing." And there's a lad there that's been going to that, you know, to see them. Hardly ever. And he's quite reserved, day. your lad. And as he well. is, he's not and particularly vocal. No, he's not. You know, but when I mean, he's go, been going since 2005, you know, home and away, and he's never ever done anything like that before. And he goes, No, I'm staying to boo that. And I, which was quite funny. And I said, Nah, come on. So we walked up to the, the top of the concourse and we're hanging out with the bar. As soon as we went, we went, Boo! And they, I mean, <laughs> everyone was booing around us. Did you, um, just dreamful. Did, uh, did I dream it or did Louis get subbed? Well, he did. Um, I think he, did he did get subbed, did he? Do you know what, Tony? And I have Go on, and what are you going to say? What I are you gonna genuinely, say? honestly think, even though he's a pod favourite, which he is, and he does the introduction to us every week, yeah. I genuinely, honestly think that his race is run there. I well, think I, he should. I know we're struggling for like playing staff, but I think he's done. But he got quite honest. Did he get subbed against 
Ipswich and the, the crowd cheered remember. and they did it again on Saturday I'm sure they cheered remember him they were, being I, taken I would off. like to, to think they were cheering because of who he is not because of got off I mean he was bad he was poor and that's what I'm Saturday. trying to work out I can't work out but if they, they were, were booing if they were cheering ironically I mean he was he was particularly bad on Saturday just going but I don't think I mean they were all shit I mean you're saying David Gassuma was alright he wasn't they were all shit didn't yeah, you? but I was talking in the context yeah. of a young lad. Yeah, I mean a young lad. Yeah. But I mean, it's, Louis, uh, it, it I was, think he's done. To be quite honest. Well, I think I think the problem is, and if you, I'm trying to look at the big picture here, is and I, the the word keeps jumping into my head, is that a clueless isn't the right word. Not clueless. Drastically short of ideas when we've got the ball. Or drastically short of options, or lack of movement. I don't know what it you is, can't. but what there is, is something missing. And what it's... is the point of passing to Jordan Bowery? Because what do you think he's going to do? Well, he's it? probably going to have his back to goal yeah. anyway. Anyway, he's not going to have anybody behind him no, because he's, he's the last just man. Just no good enough for that guy. He's, he's no, he's not even anywhere near good. If we did had him last season. I genuinely believe we would still be in League 2 if he was with us. We <laughs> would him be instead Tony. of Kags. I mean, he would. He's yeah. useless, mate, that bloke. Well, he's, again, but he is what we've got, and we've got no one else. There is something no missing else. from his game, and yeah, I don't know what it is. Footballing ability well, is what it is, <laughs> Tony. Fuck, see, that's what's wrong with him. I don't understand. I can't work out, but we look, we look devoid of ideas, and we keep our shape well. I'm not going to argue that. How uh, do you think we lined up? Did we line up with five at the back on Saturday? I worked it out that it was a five again. Yeah. Five? Yeah. And one up front or one and big man playing off yeah. the little man? Yeah. That's how I saw it anyway. I, think I mean, I've got a team sheet, I think. Like, Dylan, did you see if I was going to be written down? That time, Dylan just like, brushed past their goalkeeper and he fell over clutching yeah. himself. <laughs> he stopped me. <laughs> It. You're beating a stump behind him, mate. Get yeah, up, you he's silly been knocked man. over by a 12 yard. Yeah, I mean, he even, strong even Dylan breeze. didn't look. I mean, he, directionless as well. Uh, I, I can't. We just don't have any. It doesn't seem to have any continuity or flow. Or I don't know what the problem is. There obviously is something. And if it, you know, if the Exeter fans are right, I would say this. I, I said to you earlier before we started recording. I don't see this as that different from the beginning of last season. It was. Well, we went through our own, like we said before we Cause started. Because we've been losing three, yeah. winning three, losing three, winning three. I mean, Christmas just. Well, not just going, but last Christmas, that period. Did we not only win one out of five? Yeah, because we. Yeah, that, I, I think if we'd have taken. That, we did if we'd have taken nil, 10, 12, yeah. 10 from 12 points yeah. or something like that, I think we'd sat here, didn't we? And, said, and we said, been, if we take 10 yeah. from 12, we'll be. You know, we could be third. Yeah. We could be second or something like that. It was something like, along those lines. Yeah. We could have jumped right up the table, but we so absolutely. So it's not. Believe, it has a pattern we, that, that we've, we've seen before, and I would. I mean, there's, I'm just going to say it. The team we had in League Two is better than the team we've got now. Mm. Well, what I, I do know is that uh, as per, I went up to went to the ballroom to see the man of the match presentation. It. David Kasumu. It took so long, I gave up and went up to the pit side bar on level two, and I'd what, been before in there anyone come up before anybody come up because I've written right I here. I'd, I'd finished. I'd got a pint. I'd bought a pint. Yeah. Finished that pint, oh, and he's, one and no one has still arrived. No one has still turned up. Yeah. Uh, I went upstairs, got another pint in the pitch side, and and then he walked through with uh, with, uh, with a member of the commercial team. Number still one. in his kit, still in his kit. So that tells me, based on previous experience, that they weren't getting changed. They weren't. They no. weren't going to change. Well, I've right, having a chat and getting last, showered and going home. That's the very sure. last thing I've written on my notes is, what do you think they'll be seeing in the dressing room after a performance like that? Uh, I've not been being a man that's been in a room I've, the first I bear time. in mind I've only seen technically three managers Richie Carl yeah. and uh, Robbie Carl but Carl would let the players talk when he wasn't there I know that sounds silly yeah. but in general players didn't speak at half time whether he was in the room or not and if he was in the room they definitely didn't talk scared them <coughs> brilliant yeah pretty much yeah, uh, Robbie like would come in almost immediately after the whistle had gone for half time and also at the end of the game 
and the players would sit and wait for him to come in. And Robbie always, always, never saw him lose his rag. Yeah, always I'd be remained surprised calm. Surprised if I ever seen him. Always remained calm. Excited about always, him. you know, he said everything in the same tone of voice. It was monotonously never, boring. No, even when we were, you know, <laughs> he was very much. Nothing seemed to be he, neither highs nor lows. No, I can <laughs> neither imagine. highs nor lows. Whereas Carl obviously would be an absolute fucking nightmare if we yeah. won seven nil. If we lost five nil, he was. I don't think we lost five nil under Carl, do we? Other than the Chelsea game, Chelsea but game. not really counting that. No, you can't count that. So I, I, I don't know. I've not been in a Tisdale changing room, but what I can tell you is that David Kasumi took an awful long time to come out for the Man of Match presentation to what would have been pretty much an empty ballroom by that time. Because as I say, mm. I'd already got a pint, drunk it, got upstairs, got I've another got pint. Another one come back down again, and he still and, wasn't and he's there. Still, he's well, that's good to know that, like, in a way, you can read into that the fact that at least something's been said, because he's like. As Did I say, see, for, for have the, you for heard this post-match interview, Tuesday? It's becoming quite repetitive. I mean, that just fucking. He thought Jordan Bowery had a good game. I mean, I know that they just talk bollocks in those interviews, but we well, see. I don't. That, think, I don't think Tisdale is is the sort of bloke to throw out a load of sound bites, after, especially after think? a loss. No, oh, I don't but know. it maybe is a bit more eloquent in his repeated bollocks. post-match interviews. I don't know, but. It was definitely more about you know it was pretty much the same as last week the week before it was uh, we've got a foot we've got to forget about this and start thinking about it in the next game you which can't is forget absolutely about, right no it isn't you it is absolutely no, right no you can't forget about a performance like that no sorry it needs to, it needs to be there because that you needs want to, to be improve analyzed on it. and you need to find out why that happened yeah so come on then why 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 I mean I'm saying I'm using words like shit <laughs> same words I'm using. Lack of ideas, you know. Uh, Probably should have used that word. No, zero penetration, not looking likely to score, having lots of the ball. We're used to that. We, you know, that's that's been our mm. game forever, really. But they cut through our defence, Tony, last Saturday. As too if it easily. Just wasn't there. Too easily. They again. just walked through the defence. We, we seem to be quite if flat. If we've got five guys at the back and that bald-headed bloke can just walk right through us, that's just fucking ridiculous yeah it is I'm sorry I mean I know we've come up from League 2 but they were one place in front of us and Saturday you know we're like well Pete I, I mean no. I've, I've been reading this a lot from our fans a few have been saying it for quite some time don't forget like you said we were in League 2 last yeah. season Paul Tisdale's main bulk of ex his experience is in League 2 yeah with a struggling club or a club that's not yes. expected that's always punched above its weight we've got far better players than they he's ever had yeah, better access to better well arguably the training ground I don't know what Exeter's training ground oh, is anyway, like but oh, it's good. I can yeah. guarantee it won't be any worse than ours no and there's the, again the the training ground equals injuries debate is coming up again well quite a lot I mean are they are they being over trained are they not well, you see, I saw later. I saw a lot of players train, and then they were injured. But they, I didn't know they were injured at the time. Because I'd well, watch, watch players in training, and then find out a couple of hours later, yeah. because yeah, they were still in the change room at three o'clock. Yeah. Why are you still here? I need your fucking kit. Yeah. I want to go home. Oh, uh, I did something in yeah. training, so I've got to stay in. And I don't know. I mean that. When that ground is wet, yeah, it's very, very wet. Let very me ask sticky. you this then: How much money do you think Man United have got? Well, I imagine, and I believe they're worth in in excess of a billion pounds. Do you think that they train on an open public park? I'm fairly sure they don't. How many injuries have they got at the minute? <laughs> I don't know. Several like dozen. A lot. Yeah. You know, which is why. Maybe it is the way they're being trained. I don't know. I mean, we had... What I'm trying to say is, if Man United arguably... Well, not arguably. They are one of the biggest clubs in the whole entire world. And their facilities must be second to none. If they have got a raft of injuries, equal, if not in excess, to what we've got, mm. you'd have to think to yourself, is it... Are they being trained too hard, these guys nowadays? I, I mean, I'm not a football manager. If I was, I wouldn't be sat here, like we've said countless times... But there must be 
a reason why we are getting so many injuries. There, there must there, be. So, I try and explain training. Go on. It's, fill it's half not. An hour. It's not. It's not a like. There, look, get off. It's not how you. How people imagine it to be. What is it, Tony? It generally is a lot. A, of, a lot of playing football. A kick up. Yeah. Like it a is Saturday generally. It, obviously, there's a a warm up. Maybe it'll be a lap of the pitch. There'll be maybe some uh, uh, stretches, exercises, <laughs> short runs, press and that sort of thing. No press no, ups. No. Nothing oh, like that. Oh. Set ups. Um, mainly, mainly. I don't know. Low impact is probably the word, but you know, nothing like people. Running think a that, boot yeah, a bit. He wouldn't. So when when I've I've said it before, and it was at the end of a podcast for those that listen to the little bit at the end Ooh. after the outro. Not every week. Though. He he beasted not every week. He beasted them in training. Yes. Right, and that will mean there might be a drill. That do you remember I told you, Gary Waddock? Did I tell you about Gary Waddock after we? So Gary Gary Waddock was the assistant manager, and he's he's a very placid bloke. He's not a that lead back is he? Yeah, he's not. Well, he's, I, I, I would put him bordering on shy. Oh. And we'd lost a game. I think we lost four one to Peterborough. It might have been four one. <laughs> That's a recurring theme, wasn't it? Was, we, we lost a game on the Saturday, and he came back on the Monday, and they were doing this drill. Now this would have been probably at Carl's request, but Gary was doing this drill, and the players had to get this drill right. To his satisfaction. Okay. Who's given satisfaction? Them a, Gary's. Gary's satisfaction. Okay. He'd given them a target of what they had to do, and he wouldn't let them leave the training pitch until, until they'd done, done it. it. Now that is not just physically draining, but it's mentally, mentally draining, draining as well. Yeah. Because especially if one guy gets it wrong. Uh, yeah, it? and the more and that puts the pressure on that player because he's the one. That, oh, he's fucked up again. He's it's, it's always him. That then starts to play on his mind. The other players get well. So you know, there's lots of downsides to that. But at the same time. There is there is an element of discipline that has to be dished out and I don't know punished I suppose but no I don't know and someone did say and I want to take issue with this someone did say you know is it the training ground is it the way they're being trained is it the medical staff how can it be the fucking medical, medical staff, staff you they're the fucking idiots back together aren't they? yeah they're the ones that that get them back. And I should imagine how, they're if, busy if it's a medical staff's fault how can something that happens on the pitch on the training ground possibly be their fault you fucking idiot it's like people Tony that are all on the internet including I was looking through Facebook groups and the amount of people that are calling for Tisdale to be sacked I mean I'm not surprised cause oh, we're, used general, we're used to this we're used to this fucking fans, idiots we? we're but used this to this week you think what, what do you think's going to happen and now they're all putting names out oh that bloke that bloody walked away from what is it Millwall whatever his name is Neil Harris let's get him in yeah, you know they, <laughs> yeah but it's easy, guys, it's easy to bandy yeah, names I around throw like that. loads of names about couldn't yeah. I you know and I tell you what Neil, if Neil Warnock comes in I will I will, I will not be happy no one's coming in Tony because They're he's not, not getting but, sacked I mean I just in general if Neil Warnock ever Neil Warnock ever came in I, I would you know you've got morons like saying oh look what happened at Nielsen we seen that coming he should have been sacked you know months before he was he wasn't this is a completely different situation to that. Yeah. I mean, he was a shit manager, that bloke. I, could have, I told anyone that was care to listen to me that it was a massive mistake getting him in because he's shit. I mean, yeah. Hearts, I've said it before, he took Hearts to Ibrox once and set up with two banks of five, no recognisable strikers. He's getting that from the idiot that's the bloody manager at Hearts now who was his mentor. You know, they did it yeah. on, on bloody... Well, Robbie Nielsen. Robbie Nielsen was. Robbie Nielsen was shit as a manager. Was paint, was paint by numbers, old school. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was very much about not losing. He was very much about let's try and nick the goal. Yeah. Let's try and get that goal. And if things click, you know, like when we we went and beat Peterborough four yeah. 0 and you're thinking, Good. this is oh, fantastic. Well. This is great. You know. But that was once in a blue Oops. moon, and we're getting the same thing now. And I. As you it know, is I beginning to become not a concern. To be, I'm sorry. It I is. try, yeah, I try not to be negative, no. and I, as much as possible, I always look on the bright side. I always look to the future, to the next game, and as I say, you know that is how the players will think. But they will also, like you said earlier, they will also be thinking, you know, that wasn't an off day. No, that wasn't a one off. That that wasn't an off day. That, that was, was just four, bad. Was that it was four just, or five league games in the trot. We, four four league games yeah, on the trot. Yeah, hell. I mean. Let's have a look at them. What was it? Uh, so it started off with Ipswich. Ipswich. 
one nil. No, it started off with South End, didn't it? No, it was Ipswich. Was well, Ipswich first? Yeah. Oh well, whatever. It was Ipswich. Yeah, we thought fair enough. We played well then, but still second lost. half, and we walked out, yeah. didn't we? We did. Massive thought amounts we of great. optimism. Like South we End. then went to <sighs> somewhere. I thought we played South End, didn't we? We did. Was play. it? Oh, it, yeah, because we played at home, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. South then End. we went to Sunderland. Uh, we played Liverpool in between, but yeah. And so there's Sunderland Ipswich. Played all right at Sunderland. Yeah, Ipswich, know. Southend, Sunderland, and, and Saturday. That, but Saturday was a different. Yeah, that Sunderland, a... uh, Southend. We know we we couldn't take anything yeah. from that game. You know. We knew Sunderland wasn't. We failed to I mean, a we, we were there, didn't but we? you know, again, yeah. uh, lad who who gave us the report last week, Josh. Was it Josh? Owen. Owen. Was Josh? It was, was Josh. No. Uh, but it's, uh, it was like it was someone. It wasn't that bad, he said. But you know, and I can remember sitting in the changing room in the championship season. We just lost at home okay. to someone. someone, and it was shit. the chairman came in and he said, um, oh, "Shit," he said. He said, "Oh, lads, lads, so proud of you the way you played today." It was brilliant, you know. You did really well, and you you're making us proud and that sort of. And Karma fans, he went, well, we didn't fucking win. We lost again. You know, it's like, ooh, <laughs> it's, oh, he's right. it's one thing. You know, I mean, in my opinion, chairman shouldn't come into the change room no. anyway. And as much as I respect the chairman, that first team yes. change room That's is sacrosanct. is a sanctuary. There is mm. no way anybody but. He does put himself out about Pete Minnell, that. He's a self of us. Just yeah, I mean, uh, that's, to, be honest, to be fair, that was the one time in four seasons that he actually did come into the Oh, he came room. into the change room after Man United. I've seen it on the telly. Uh, might be an exception, yeah, that one. So, might, yeah, be, see, might be an exception, yeah. What I'm thinking is, in all seriousness, if we're not careful, we are going to be dragged into a relegation fight. Well, I, you see, I don't think that's going to happen. But what I don't really? want to do, I don't... What I don't want to see is, are we going to finish 14th or are we going to finish 12th yeah. or are we going to finish 11th? Because that's fucking Northampton bollocks. What I want. That what is I, boring. That I is said, not a. That is not a season. Upon season. What I wanted. Occasion I want to see. What I wanted to happen this season was pure consolidation. Get like a mid-table finish. Strengthen start to develop a style of football that was recognisable and you're thinking ah this is how we play well I've not got that we haven't so got far. one I'm trying Nothing. to think I'm I mean it's October now that, so what we've been what yeah. two months into the season and plus again we had a, a full season uh, as with Tiz as the manager last yep. season and still couldn't figure out and what he was doing there wasn't I mean we loved the way he changed his formations especially during a game we loved the way he swaps players around but do you know what a lot of people are saying and I'm only paying once again Dick Advocate. Yeah. A lot of people, and I've read that a lot this week, that he's no idea what he's doing. I think this goes back to what I said earlier about he's come from a club where there's little expectation. They've punched above their weight, whereas we've, well, the chairman has given him the club, the money, you know, in money, money. I mean, we're not talking Sunderland, the Portsmouth, no, for. Yeah, yeah, but we're talking top. Five is it top six budget? I'm told we've always had a big budget. Yeah, we've always been apart and from the championship in League One. That realistically, I think that I can't remember who the other when obviously Sunderland, Portsmouth, Ipswich. They must be spending a pretty penny. Ipswich, but you know, they're not exactly Posh, they've spent they? millions on one guy. Yes, do you know who spent did. millions on someone? Who Luton spent millions on their goalkeeper? Did you see it? <laughs> did you see what he done? The look, <laughs> you don't see it. No. They're opening goal. They were at Derby on Saturday, and no, under no pressure whatsoever. I urge everyone to go on on the internet and find this. One of their, so it would have been their right back, yeah. gently rolls it back to their keeper back pass. The guy lifts his foot up, put the ball on it. The ball rolls under his feet and trickles across the goal line for a goal. <laughs> and I, when I say that, the, it was at yeah. walking pace, and they've spent millions on that guy. So. You can't legislate for someone being a twat, but uh, I mean, we've got twats in our team. We just have, but I'm not going to name them. Unless I name Jordan Bowery, but he's not a twat. He's just a guy that's got zero football and ability. That guy, yeah. he just has. He can't make mistakes because he's not got the ability to be good enough 
to make a mistake if that if that's not like a contradiction in terms. He's not good enough to be shit. Do you know what I'm trying to say? He's shit all the time. Yeah. He doesn't stand out as oh what are you doing, mate? Oh he's just think, oh for fuck's sake, mate. You're useless. What she is. He's useless I'm sorry, he's useless that guy. He's no good to him. I don't know what anyone's seen in him. Someone Tis or someone must have seen him and thought the crew fans weren't exactly yeah. crying. No, so that's always a big thing, you know. It is, it is, and I don't know. What can you? Do you know who was good on Saturday? Lloyd Dyer. Good to see him back. I it didn't was, even know he was. No, there. he's got hair. Until he came on, I thought, <laughs> Christ, it's Lloyd got... Dyer with hair. Yeah. Oh. I thought, hold on a minute. He's still pretty Where's skeletal. Nippy? He's still Where's pretty skeletal? fast, doesn't he? Oh, he, well, I mean, he would be playing. I mean, he wouldn't be yeah. playing if he was. Uh, yeah, it's good to see him. him. I was glad to see him. I was more. I thought he was at me when my lad were both seeing a great player when he was here. So are we done with um with Saturday? Oh I'll mention for the uh Don's actions. Uh well done for the first half performance, particularly the first fifteen minutes. Very good, but again, very little next to See to be quite honest half. with you, I'm not impressed by that what they've what they've done. The drummer is I can't remember if I said it on the podcast, but it does seem to have coincided with us coming back from Ackerton and Stanley. The Ackerton and Stanley drummer was brilliant. Was he, he was what was absolutely he doing? Was he doing brilliant. Poly rhythms and he things was like that? doing the lot, mate. He was doing the lot. He was pulling every everybody together. He was constantly on his drum. He was driving every single song. Also, MK Army came back, made a little bit of a comeback. Yeah. I know those lads don't like it, but that's, it. One it, that's that not your choice. Going. It's not your choice. We know MK Army works. Yeah. And it spreads around the ground, so a little bit more MK Army wouldn't go amiss. I thought the ref was a bit pedantic. We always pushing he guys was, back three yards and all. He was to get very like fussy. Yeah, him. yeah, pushed Callum back, didn't he, yeah. for a throw in that that seemed little yeah. point. Um, just, what's the point of that, mate? You've pushed the guy back three, four, five yards. What's the point? You're an idiot, mate. Yeah. Uh, so is that that? Well, I have written this is the first thing I, I wrote on yeah, Saturday on. on my phone. I said, you know, it's a shit game when I was spending the whole of the first half watching the clock so I knew what time it was to go and get a drink. Same here. That, yeah. that is, that, yeah, normally, that sums up the whole of the first half. For normally me. 38 minutes. What, it's 42 for my, me? My bladder's bursting. So it's bladder, ciggy, pint. Well, we me. take turns about getting half time drinks and there's three of us do it. So there was a mix up on Saturday where two blokes thought the other guy was getting it. It wasn't yeah. my turn. So two other guys, well, Mick and Andy, thought it was each other's turn. Yeah. So we normally, whoever's turn that is, normally goes up it on, on 42 minutes. Beat the crowd. <laughs> but when I went on, on Saturday, they both thought, so but we still got a drink. We yeah. still were finished a drink before the second half kicked off. That was that was the highlight. Well, I didn't day. I didn't need to go to the toilet at thirty eight minutes this week. It's just precious. But I still stayed till the forty first. I think it was because nah. I had a wee just before kick off. But yeah, I was in no rush to get back to my seat for the second half. No. And I yeah, I must have walked back up the stairs at eighty three, eighty four. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Like I see, I specifically looked like at the time when that mass exodus went. I thought I'll look because I'll, I'll, I remember this for the podcast and it was we were in the 83rd minute when people went it, it wasn't just everyone got up and left then mm. I mean there could hardly have been anyone left to boo at full time to be quite honest so they're probably thinking well that's good no one booed us because <laughs> there's no one fucking near that's why right. is that done is that well done? I don't Should know we do I mean, let's you can, can analyse this people calling for him to be sacked or I mean these people are just I mean what I was thinking about that this week is because there's been three or four managers sacked yeah. this week, hasn't there? It's that time of the year, yeah. isn't it? The pre-Christmas uh, cold. I think it's still early to be sacking people, but I was thinking to myself, especially with all the crap that's going on about, oh, he's, we should get rid of him, who can come in and all that, and I'm thinking, do you know what this is? This is... These guys think that's what football fans should do. They think that Yes, they do. They, they do. absolutely do. They have do. no idea about the actual like no. intricacies of the game. They're thinking, he's shit. Or oh, they've sacked their manager because he's shit. We should yeah. sack ours. No. Yeah. It's like that bloke who said every player who played on Saturday should be dropped what for you, the next game. You're going to fucking... That's, 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 who are you going I mean, to I've seen some stupid <laughs> fucking things said. But that is a beauty, that. Right. Uh, I've not seen that one. That, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was on the Facebook group. So Good I asked, oh, what the fuck are you going to play then? Who are you going to play? Give us your give us your eleven yeah, then. Give us your, give us your fucking eleven. Your Didn't reply. Five on the Funny fucking enough. bench. 
Talking of Facebook. Oh, go on. So after anything. after that, I thought I'd lighten the mood somewhat. What did you see? And I well, I, I run a little <laughs> I, run, I run a little competition oh. on Twitter. So there's this website where you can design your own. Uh, you can di design your own Where's Wally? Oh right. Uh, uh, like poster okay. thing that you can play online, and it's like the old. Uh, Grand Theft Auto with a scrolling, but you can go to the map and have a look around. Right, so right. you have to. Ooh. Ah, I know right, what you so mean. I set a time limit of half an hour for for our fans to go and find Wally. And for those who didn't find him, I can now announce that he was in the betting shop. Oh, right. Really? Yeah. What was he betting on? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, mate. Probably not football, because that would be. No, I want to be as well. Be well, what's that? Have we got any? I don't think we've got any feedback, even though Someone... people have just given up. I'll tell you what we haven't got. Someone did say, and I've seen it, but this is from two or three weeks ago, because I'm not really good at looking at them. Someone did say a highlight of my week, like for one of the ones where I put it up. So that was nice <laughs> of them to say that. I don't think it's this one or last week's. <laughs> Especially not last week's. Well, we didn't get a single name. I haven't checked for the last... I've I don't checked. think I've checked today, but... Yes, I'll tell you what we haven't had is today. a reply from our... Um, no, he's not replied, has our he? Our quiz winner. Our quiz winner. Yeah, so... So here's what's going to happen. Well, we'll give you till next next Tuesday at midnight. Yeah, to if reply you've not to us, replied, Joseph. But then, mate, then yeah. We're so you may not have again. listened to last week's yet. He's had That's an email, a possibility. Though, hasn't he? I've seen you've sent but it. But I have sent him an email. Yep, I have sent him an email back saying. So if you, you go, didn't lad. win, there's a chance that you could win. Yeah. So he's got um, a week to go. He's like the lottery winner, isn't he? That it is. Yeah. Come so up. if you don't come up with your winning ticket, sunshine, we will redraw. And someone else will win the, it? Me, the goodies. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> every time you, every day passes, J John takes another piece yeah, of clothing from that collection and keeps it for himself. <laughs> yeah, you'll have a. You'll so have a, yeah, I mean, a sock. um, it's not that. It's, I mean, I've, oh, that's that says it all, doesn't it? That's it. Yeah. It's a shit game. Probably. Yeah. I mean, we we yeah. did talk at length there. We've talked a long time. I really about thought that. we were so strong, but there wasn't. Again, we didn't actually talk about the game, really, did we? We didn't actually. We talk, didn't. We didn't go into any depth no, about I the mean, game itself. We they scored three goals. I remember their second one because it was yeah. a very good goal. I thought I don't Louis know much was, about the first, and I didn't see the third. And yeah. fact, I'm not really that bored about seeing it at all. I did think Louis was poor. All the games he played, I thought, like like Dylan, I thought too young, mate. Too young, not good enough. Uh, or I don't know how old he is, you know. Well, but you just got to throw the kid there, in. There was, there was, there's, there's. I think it's fair to say there was nothing good no. that we can take from nothing. that, like we did from any, any of the previous games we've played, even against Southend, like End. Josh Owen did yeah. from Sunderland. Uh, yeah. South End. I mean, I thought that well, was the. Played, I thought that yeah. was low, but well, we're unlucky there. I mean, we had, we had the better game there, yeah. even though we lost. But we didn't have the better game Saturday. We were miles off the pace yeah. there. So I don't know what to say. Just right, let's move on. Who have we got on Saturday? Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers. Fuck me. Have we got a game next Tuesday? I don't think we have. Ever. Might do, Tony. Might not. I don't think we have. I'm not sure. <laughs> quite honestly, <laughs> not really that bothered. I'm going to have a look. Check now. I'm going to have a look. Phone uh, So yes, we've got. Um, no, we're at home to Coventry. I'll be honest, that's a relief. Oh, uh, Coventry, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, then we're away to Rochdale on the 22nd. And then Fleetwood this on Saturday. This weekend's an international break, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah that won't affect us. <laughs> We've not got anyone no, even room. Exactly. Oh, we have got oh, one guy. Regan. Yeah, he's Regan, gone to yeah. Wales, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's got Wales, actually. senior squad. Well played, lad. Well done. A senior squad, really? I believe it is, yeah. Wow. Oh. Ryan Giggs, manager. Yeah, he's an idiot. He is. I'm keen on him. <laughs> Uh, so Bristol Rovers, if you can bring yourself to do it, Jesus. give us a prediction. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I couldn't. I don't know what to say. I've no idea how that's going to go. I'm going to say two. It could be us, another. It could be like Wickham, where we've played all right. But all right. Lost. So scenario, right? How far? Bearing in mind it is the first week of October or yeah. second week of October. Yeah. How far do you let it go? I think Saturday just going was enough. I don't. I think that's the cut-off point is now for me. So if he loses on Saturday, I'm not calling for anyone to be sacked. Far from well, it. If he if he lost four three, then that'd be a different scenario. If we go out and we play like we did in any of the previous, I'm just given an, as an example, uh, I said before about the Oldham game, four two down against Oldham, we pulled it back to four four. Yeah, felt great. 
to, yeah. to, but in the context of the season it was the worst thing that could have happened you know so I mean I, it could be all different if we go know, is there going to is there going to come a point Has I mean gonna be a reaction if, to if, you, if, if we lose on Saturday and when, then we lose to Coventry then we go to Rochdale and lose that'd you can't be, see that'd be six you can't six see in a row all the fans have, have turned the fans have already turned seven in a row they've turned now again I don't, I don't necessarily I don't necessarily turned. think it's I know we were we weren't exactly blessed with great football under Robbie Nielsen or anything that followed him before uh, before Tisdale but by the same token you know we said if we can drag out those one nils and it gets us where we need to be Fair enough. we'll take it we you might not be happy about is. it but we'll take it but we uh, like you said earlier <laughs> you would you'd snap your my, your hand off for that wouldn't you now we've got no discernible style tony i mean no, under we Robo, haven't. I, we, I can't we had a we had a football and philosophy under him we've got no i couldn't like like we said on that Sunderland podcast and we were on it and he asked us all what do you think we don't know what our style is because hmm. we, we I will don't say know. and I didn't I didn't really I'm expand on the uh, on the injuries thing calm down a bit but it does it, it can it can and does disrupt your season and your your continuity and your flow if you're not having to you know I've, I've, I've said it before when uh, at pre-season the season after we got relegated back to League One, League and one, we yeah. went to Stevenage, albeit pre-season, and, and and I always say that pre-season results don't matter. Yeah, performances to a lesser extent, but that particular day, because we had no players, literally no players, yeah. and Richie said because the players that played in that game have got no competition for their places. Yeah, there's nothing to push them. I don't know. Could that be? Part of it, I don't know, because they're, no we're, we're we're struggling. You got no up one front. coming up because there isn't anyone, is there? No, and we're now. I mean, what do we have on the bench? We had David Kasumi on the pitch. Oh, yeah. We had Dylan on the bench. We had uh, Matty Dylan Solenoid started, didn't again. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah. we had Matty Solenoid, and yeah. who was the other? There was another kid on the bench on there. I can't think. Can't right. remember now. But you know, that to, to be having what I think was two academy lads on the bench on Saturday in October. Not good. It's not a good thing, not and we were saying, thing. you know, when these central defenders get yeah. fit, will be, you know, there'll be five players G for free GMT positions. was on the bench, wasn't he? Yeah, there's five so players for free positions, and yeah. you know, Louis's going to be in competition see. with Brennan, and yeah, I mean, you got George and Ca uh, Callum on the right hand side, and we've got Gilby to come back, and we've got this, that, and the other. Now you're looking at it, and you're struggling to. It pick must an be 11. disheartening when you're playing in that when you're actually on on the field. And you're because they, to a man, must have known. You know, I mean, I don't know what can I say. I mean, I just it was a fucking disgrace, is what it was. <laughs> they so will know. They will know. What I'm more interested to know is, do you know the reason for it? Well, he's not going to tell that. That's not going to be made public, is it? Because if it's made public, then that's information yeah. for opposition I mean, what players. I said after Christmas last season, and. I asked Louis, and he said his answer was. Oh shit! Uh, no, really his answer old. was. I'm really old. The team spirit is is great. Just watch what happens now. Ring him. And he was absolutely right. We got promoted. Why did you not ring him before you come in? Yeah, <laughs> <You're fucking laughs> done, But you know he he's he's been doing this all his life. He has. He's been in the changing room for the last fifteen. He's seen highs. Years, he's, seen is. That he's seen the lot, and he said that just after Christmas. Our team spirit will pull pull us through this, and he said, and we'll only go forward. We'll only go up from here. And three months later, we were promoted. Yeah, I mean, like you said earlier on about we didn't talk about this is not. We said it in the very first ever episode of this. This is not going to be a podcast where we're going to talk about tactics and shit because that's just boring. What we're going no, to do? No, we don't. We don't. Is come we on don't want to be negative. We want to be. You know, we're going to come on the here lighter and side and yeah. you know talk about. We 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 do this podcast to talk about the games, to describe the games and get not yeah. necessarily not give really, our thoughts, but know. how we saw it. You know, and we would yeah. never ever say you should have done this, you should have done that. But it's fair to say at this point that a we can't see, like you said, we can't see any 
they Defi- say defined no, I can't see uh, it, style of play or the set and just Saturday just the best oh, example see, of mate. show me where show me your plan show me what yeah. what the plan was there you know because again I've been in change rooms and I've seen that plan written on the board and is, yeah, the plan. It, if if that plan doesn't work it's very difficult to explain why it didn't work after the game because you set up a specific way to play a specific team with specific players and that's what you do and if that team that you're playing is set up exactly as you expect it to then everything you've done in the previous week in training well like you see is it it must have been exactly right or if you go out and lose 4-0 must have been completely I wrong. mean in mitigation I'm assuming that Sam got got into fairly late in the week so that must have upset the you know the plans right there you know yeah that's me trying to you know I think he got injured yeah. on the I think he got injured at um Sunderland did he really well, that's a yeah it was thing. Kieran that got injured on the Tuesday oh, at Fulham the Fulham game and I think Dylan did got George injured get, at, on no, Saturday no, I mean I guess I don't know throws your know. Team. I don't know what to say what can but you even, say? even George who's usually the one man you can rely on to mm-hmm. I mean, I think Callum now is a bit like that. Callum can change a game with his mm-hmm. pace and his strength, and he's you know he's got a good pass in him and a a good cross ball. But I I'm not seeing anything at the moment that I can pick out as positive. I mean, since we lauded it about about the second half of the Ipswich game, yeah. we've really had nothing to shout nothing. about. I mean, we didn't see the Sunderland game, but we're told we weren't that bad. But again, we still lost. And we gave away two reasonably quick goals. Nah, one of them was a wonder strike, wasn't it? You it can't was, legislate against that, you know, can you? It's it wasn't. It's not I mean, so much that, that it's the fact that you let another one in. He could do that ten times later. in a row and never get it in, could he? That yeah, bit? I mean so, the yeah. way the way yeah. it bent away from the Just keeper, the speed sure, it was really. travelling was goal. absolutely perfect. But we then went and let in a second goal very quickly. Yeah. And against any team, that's not always going to be. You know, when we were... And they've sacked their manager. <laughs> yeah, they've exactly. <laughs> they've sacked their manager. Yeah. Which, they'll never be happy, though. They'll no, never be happy. Never. Yeah. They're very much like uh, Charlton fans in that respect. Yeah, um, be although they yeah. now feel they're back where they should be and they're happy with their manager. One should be not in the Premier League. I mean, like Sunderland had a spectacular fall from Greece. But that is more off-the-pitch business than... You know, yeah, you know, We've all seen that documentary. If you have it, you we should watch it cause talking about Ipswich how how yeah. does a club like Ipswich end up in League One yeah get rid of what's his name didn't they it's obviously not yeah. financial is it no Mick I mean, McCarthy they, they were all I mean I worked with two blokes from Ipswich it would have been last coming up in two years ago and they were it was father and son and they both were Ipswich and they just could not wait from they, they hated Mick McCarthy you know and you think to yourself got rid of the book and you got relegated are you happy with that I mean are they happy with well this that? is it the, if, the, if you could sum up football fans it's well, could, the grass you? isn't always yeah. green no. um, and it's absolutely true but we now based on the players we've got the budget we've got forget about facilities because that doesn't really shouldn't really matter but you know, if anything's a disadvantage of being in a thirty thousand seat stadium. There are some big teams in this league, Tony. But they we're are. not competing with them. We're, we're not competing with teams that are you know, that we should be beaten. We should go to Bristol on Saturday and without even breaking a sweat, we as Milton Keynes and Ons, not with the team we've got at the minute, but as a club yeah. We should be going to people like them because it's not that long since they were a non-league team. Yeah. We should be beating them, Tony. We just should. I know no one's got a divine right, you know, to tur- you know to walk up. I mean, look what happened to Man City on Sunday. Yeah. But in the grand scheme of things, as a footballing entity, we should we're bigger than Bristol City. We, uh, sorry, Bristol Rovers. We should be better than them. We should not be thinking, oh fucking hell, oh, I think I've been going all right. It's like Saturday. We should be rocking up there and just beating them. We just should. Because we're a bigger mm. club than them, and we just should be beating them. I'm sorry to have to. We should be. I'm sorry. We just should. I'm, yeah. I don't know what to say. No, you're right. You're right. And you, you could go through the. Well, there's now 23 teams yeah. in the league, but you could go through those 23 teams, and you'd think that at least half of them. We should be. We should be. Yeah. We should on paper. Which is why again, it never works like that. But we should finish in tenth yeah. place across the end of the se- across the course yeah. of the season, where you are going to have your surprise losses, 
you're going to have your surprise wins you have your bonus 93rd minute winners and 93rd minute loses but no we again and it's not really about the league position because we could have been first and then done this but it's I don't want to be that no, club that me. finishes 12th every fucking season not every season no. and then every now and again Ooh, gets a promotion every now and again gets a relegation I don't want to be that club I don't want to be Northampton Town and that's no slight against Northampton Town it's just the way it is that the, you know they do have that seem to have that pattern don't they where they'll uh, have three or four mediocre seasons no, then they'll have a close run me, one yeah. and yeah, might as well. well pack considering up we dumped the talk on the mm. uh, game on Saturday, we actually continued the exact same conversation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make one half an hour. Sorry about that. All right, so we uh, none of you fuckers email us anymore. Yeah, Literally, no one. Well, he has just done it. All well, yeah, Harris. Jonathan. Yeah, he does all the time. But we want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear what you got to say. Don't be afraid of being slaughtered on air for being wrong. I'm going to do that anyway. But yeah, even if you're right, even if you're right, I'm going to say you're wrong. Yep. Um, Particularly if I didn't come up with your comments, yeah, we do want to hear from you. We want, we want, we want the fans to be involved, as we said from day one. We want the fans. And to be And if you do go to Bristol Rovers this week, yeah, if you do go and I don't, I will even be, if he uh, does go, well, it's good to get someone else. Yeah, exactly. On. It really is. And um, whether that be email or uh, coming on and recording with us, yeah, whatever, or just sitting in and chucking in the occasional, yeah, the occasional load of crap. word, but. I'm getting sick of the sound of our voices. Yeah, I am. Um, We've done yeah. all right this week. For <laughs> half an hour a morning. <laughs> well, oh, that's an hour is worth a complaining. Is it really? We're back Excellent. Up to an hour I never thought, I never thought the day would come. I never thought the day would come. Just spend an hour complaining. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think we're done. I think we are done. Um, we will see you next week. Next might week? see you Saturday, might not. You might not. You won't see me. Unless yeah. you're at my allotment. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Ta da. <laughs> Birthday at CFC Striker that Chucks. Oh, is it Chucks's birthday? Was it happy birthday, Chucks? Oh, nice. I don't care about him. He's dead to me now. Eh? Yeah. He's dead to me now, am Chucks, who?